In this random stuff video, I will cover a project follow up, making a tool holder for a new tool, making a piece of inventory for my parents' camper, and showing you how my grandpa and I get some work in the woods done. Let's go! So first of all I wanted to make a quick follow up to my last project, this stool, because a lot of you commented that the staples with which I attach these felt pads so the stool doesn't scratch the floor, you said that the staples maybe scratch the floor. But what you don't know, because I didn't show it in the video, is that after I applied the staples I hammered them really in as far as they would go into the wood. So now they are far below the surface of the felt pads and that's why they are not scratching the floor. Another question I got was why I put the joinery side on top. After the glue up of the stool it was rocking on both sides and the side with the joinery exposed this side rocked more so it would have been more work to get it level and not rocking on this side than on the other side so I simply was just lazy. But my excuse for this is now, if somebody wants to know how it's joined, they just have to lift up the cushion and then they can see it. And after using it a few days, I really can tell that it's comfortable. And part of the reason of that is because I think the shape of the cushion is, well, pretty much shaped like an ass. And you can feel that. It really is comfortable. Then I got a new digital caliper. And it comes with a manual. Who needs a manual for a digital caliper? This now of course needs a place on the tool wall, preferably next to my mechanical calipers, but therefore I have to move some stuff around. Of course this now needs a holder and I want to do something pretty similar to what I did for my other calipers, but I have to change the shape a little bit because of this wheel to make it fit correctly. Alright, so everything has a place on the wall now. And if you're wondering what these two screws are for, they prevent the squares from accidentally dropping out of their holders. Now moving on. A while ago my parents bought a camper and now they need some special inventory and of course I'm going to do that. So let me show you what I mean. So here in the back they have this camping table and it tips and they want me to do something to prevent it from tipping and from maybe falling over. I started with drawing a precise project plan. Now we are at my grandparents forest and we needed to get some work done. Because of bark beetles they had to cut down 5 trees and already cut them into 5 meter pieces. All we had to do was to get these pieces out of the woods. We attached them to a cable winch and pulled them towards the tractor. Then we drove them to their storage place. And by the way, driving or standing on a tractor is really cool. Though a little bit shaky. And that was pretty much all I got this time, except for... After, uh, 
After the glue up of the stool, who the f needs a manual for a digital caliper? But I have to change this shape. Now moving on. <clears throat> well, pretty much perfectly shaped like an S. And you really can feel that this is comfortable. <laughs>